wow 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 what's up youtube plus the citrus here and i'm in day four of 12 days of citrus but it's not really 12 days of citrus because i'm gonna be off for like a month so i'm probably gonna be making a lot of videos over my little holiday you dig what ha so yeah anyways that aside i'm battling against blue beetle on pokemon showdown and I made this new rain team, as you can see. He has like a miscellaneous team put together. Um, looks like a really threatening team, though. Like he has Hydreigon, Salamence, Garchomp, even Breloom. Like Breloom, like lately, has been a really big threat to a lot of my teams. But yeah, um, let's see how I'm gonna handle it today. So yeah, we will see. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave off with Hurricane Sandy. A dig. Get that rain up. So yeah, he's gonna lay off with Breloom. I'm gonna switch into Blackthorn because I know he's probably gonna go for Spore. And he does indeed. So I don't mind getting my Ferrothorn to sleep. So I'm gonna go into Hurricane Irene. That Hurricane team, you dig, what? So I'm gonna go rock him like a Hurricane, but he has the Focus Sash. I, I knew there was a reason behind his madness like staying into a Hurricane, but that's why. So yeah, he faints me with a bullet seed. He got a crit on the last one. I don't think it mattered though, because he probably would have fainted me regardless. So anyways, I'm gonna go to Oh Canada, and I'm gonna go. He's gonna go for the low sweep. It does like half. Like oh my god, too powerful. But yeah, I faint him with a dragon pulse, so it's fine. You dig? So I'm gonna switch out, and I'm gonna go into Blackthorn. I was hoping he would go for Outrage here, but he decided to go for Dragon Claw. But I find out later he's probably choiced. I'm guessing. I don't know, banded or scarfed, one or the other. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back into uh, Canada. And he's gonna go into Hydreigon. I don't know why I went into Latias, but I just did. So, yeah, I'm gonna go into AX event. And, uh, because I know he's gonna sponge whatever hit from that Hydreigon. Um, even Focus Blast. Focus Blast would only do like 40% to a Violet Chansey. But, yeah, I s take the opportunity to set up rocks. But then he goes on the Rotom Wash, and I should have known better here. I knew he would go for the trick, uh, because why else would he switch in Rotom, right? So yeah, but I didn't do it. But yeah, I went for the Heal Bell though, so it's fine. I got my uh, Ferrothorn Awake again, and he goes for the Volt Switch. Volt Switch is out into Hydreigon, and uh, he goes for the Flamethrower, but thank thanks to the rain, it's weakened. Uh, so I knew it wouldn't kill, so here I take the opportunity to go for Leech Seed. And I protect just to rack up that HP, you dick. What? Ha! You can't do shit, Hydreigon. So, uh, yeah. Blackthorn's doing work, as always. So, yeah, I'm gonna switch out and I'm gonna go into Sandy because I know um, he's most likely scarfed because, yeah, he's just going for the same move over and over again. And uh, it doesn't have that power that Specs would do, so, yeah, scarf. So, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump because I know a stab Hydro Pump in the rain would with specs would do a lot so but it misses on the metagross that sucks man hate that hacks so yeah anyways he's gonna go for the stealth rock on the switch which is really good on his part um but yeah here he goes for meteor mash for some reason i don't know if he was predicting a switch or something but eh, it was kind of a questionable play uh but yeah i take the opportunity to set up leech seed um i'm guessing he probably doesn't have a fighting move on that set so i guess that's probably why that's his strongest option but yeah, anyways, I take the opportunity to set up spikes there, and I'm going to protect as he's leech seated now, so he can't do anything. Oh no, he's not leech seated. He switched out of Metacross, I forgot. But yeah, here, uh, yeah, I just protected to see what he would lock himself into, so yeah, it was flamethrower, so... I decided to switch into Sandy, because I know Sandy can take those hits all day, every day. And uh, Metagross uh, runs out of lock here. He finally gets hit with a Hydro Pump. Yeah, dick. So that Metagross is down and out, so the Rotom Wash comes in now. I'm gonna go into Blackthorn, obviously, because it walls the shit out of Rotom Wash. Even if he had HP Fire or something, it would only do like, what, 40-45% or something in the rain? So, I'm not even worried, bro. So yeah, he tricks me here, um, he gives me an Eviolite and gets my Leftovers, which is fine. I, it's not really critical in the battle anyway at this point. So yeah, here I leech seed him, but I know he's going to switch, so I'm going to go for the spikes. You dig? Got extra layer of hazards. So I'm going to go for the protect once again to see what he's going to lock himself into. And it's going to be the flamethrower, so... Um, but here he's going to switch. He makes a 
kind of a good play uh, because here I get really mismatched here I go into Polytoad on the switch and uh, yeah but so that forces me to switch out again into Blackthorn and he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt and it doesn't do very much uh, but it was a good switch on his part though I have to commend him for that um, but yeah here he goes for the Volt Switch he goes out into Hydreigon again and I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed because I know Leech Seed is going to affect any Pokemon on his team now that his Breloom is fainted like from the start of the battle so that's pretty good for me. So now I'm going to go for the Protect, and he's going to go for the Dark Pulse, and I'm just going to stall him out, and the Leech Seed damage will kill him off. Yeah, dig. What? Ha! So uh, now he's going to go into Garchomp, and I'm going to let him kill me uh, with the Earthquake because I didn't want to risk bringing my Latias in and seeing that he's going to go for Outrage or Dragon Claw instead. So I decided just to leave my Ferrothorn in to die. So yeah, here. Um, this is why, because it, he, my Latias actually became really critical in the match later on. So yeah, I'm going to set up some Calm Minds here as he goes into Rotom Wash, which is perfect because I could take this opportunity to stall him out and uh, rack up some leftovers and set up some Calm Minds and stuff. So yeah, I do that. I get the plus two uh, special attack and defense. So yeah, he's going to go for the Thunderful Thunderbolt. Say it fade my sub, and then I'm going to set up another one as he switches into Garchomp. Um, it was really his only option because he can't damage me with Rotom. So, yeah, here he's gonna go for the Outrage, and it's just gonna fade my sub, and he's gonna die to a Dragon Ball. So, you're like, what? Ha 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 ha. Too evil. So, yeah, um, Latias is pretty much gonna clear the field from this point, so that will be a really good game. Uh, Blue Beetle, if you guys like this battle, like, comment, and sub as always, and I will release Pokemon Black and or Pokemon Black and White 2 uh, tomorrow as my 12 Days of Citrus video, I guess you could say. Um, and yeah, that's just about all I have to say. Um, I better eat now because I'm kind of hungry and all that, so I'm gonna eat. Bye.